Welcome everybody back to another episode of Two uh, Fat Guys in a Dream. Of course, I'm your host with the most dreamest Steam Machine Steen. As always, I'm going to hear by my father, Scott Steen. Scott, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Truman. You know, I'm just thinking about this. If this show ever takes off, uh, you know, when they do the retrospective and go back to the early shows about how unprofessional and weird it looked, this is the fucking screenshot they're going to use right here with the paper towel roll, the random cups, and the huge bread pillow. Uh, you with your feet uh, up, and uh, I can't tell if it's weird lights. Do you have yellow socks on, or is that just your feet? These are yellow socks. I got uh, They're chief socks. Okay. I don't know if you can... Okay. Yeah, this is really, really... Okay. Watch the camera spread there, boy. Yeah, That's right. uh, <laughs> you're, you're, you're about to have to take us up to an R rating there, son. Right, take yeah, it easy. Yeah, yeah, take yeah, it easy. Gonna have to end up on, uh, All right, so Rumble those, for those of you that are watching, uh, those are yellow socks. He's not jaundiced. I was, I was a little worried that you got a little, little case of the jaundice there, Truman. The so, jaundice, yeah. It's, uh, it's great to be here on Two Fat Guys in a Dream. Welcome aboard, everyone. Without jaundice, it's, uh, yes. It's, it's fantastic to be here. Um, I got all kinds of light stuff going on here, Truman. I got, uh, just. Every light, because because you have my professional light, uh, it stayed with you in the move. And I said, well, you know, I'm not doing daily videos anymore. I don't really need it. And then all of a sudden, your light got a lot better, and mine got a lot worse. So, hey, let's uh, talk about some health. Let's talk about some health check-in, shall we? Absolutely. I'm thinking before we do that big loaf of bread pillow. That's like if you were doing a, a welcome to a, you know like a friends of Bill. If you're doing like an Alcoholics Anonymous podcast and you open the show and there's just those gigantic plastic liquor bottles that they have for display uh -huh. just yeah. sitting all around. Because we're going to talk about our low-carb diet here and yeah, uh, you're, laying on, you're laying on bread. So Don't eat the bread. Just le le You can have it as a pillow, but don't have it as a snack. You know what I'm saying? For those of you that are listening and have never watched the show, uh, the pillow... And this setup that you're seeing that, you're, is, that is going on right now, if you've thought about checking out the YouTube, like I'd like to see, this is the one to do it. This is absolutely the between the bread pillow, the relaxed continence of you tonight, uh, the random, it's just uh, chef's kiss. All right. Health check in, son. How'd you do? Uh, maybe I should stop relaxing so much, is the question, uh, is the answer to the health, to the health check in. Uh, Scott, the man this... works hard. Do you know how many professional lunches he had to go to this week? I don't know. I'm assuming it's a lot. Uh, no, not a ton this week. Actually, I got to see Grandma this week. That was nice. Uh, I got to check in. Scott, I, I went in buy? here. Did she what? buy engineers? Did she buy supplies or whatever it is? I don't even know what you sell. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she's buying. Yeah, she's buying a couple air handlers, a couple uh, Venturi valves. Just I have. I just yeah. realized I have a very nebulous uh, idea of what my children do for a living. Yeah. Uh, what does Truman do? You know, when you're an engineer, I could say he's an engineer. They he does HVAC, but now he's like, what does Truman do? Yeah, he sells. I have I'm, no idea. I'm what still he's an doing. engineer. I just sell the equipment to the engineers. Right. Um. And then, uh, you know, Skyler, she where I know where she works. I have no. She does some stuff with the centers. I have no real idea what she drills down to. And Sydney somehow is involved in high high end condo mortgages, which, you know. Uh, and then, of course, your younger sister, what's she doing? You know, I she's kind of I talked to her. She's right now. I, I talked to her a couple of weeks ago. She'd already like got her job and quit it and was like looking at something else. I'm like, well, that shit, shit moves fast. So it's great to be here. Speaking of moving fast, how'd that needle go? Truman, did you move that needle down fast? Uh, not down fast, but I moved it down a little. Uh, Scott, last week I was at 246.8. This week I come in at 246.3. It means I've lost 0. 0.5 pounds. It means I'm uh, good for 43.19% of our goal, of my goal, 0.61% of the goal overall. Okay. Got fitted for a suit today. That was interesting. Fitted for another okay. wedding. Uh, I, it's, if, people, if people are like, if you're going through and you're like binging the show, <clears throat> and they and they pick this one. They go, oh no, I've already heard this one. He talks about he's, had, he's going to a wedding. Well, yeah. spoiler alert: that, that's every fucking show. Right. Every yeah. show. I would say, okay, uh, not to not to not to be uh, um, uh, off off the charts a little bit. I would say half of the shows, at least, you're going to a wedding. 
That's fair. Okay. I'm just maybe maybe because it seems like all the time because the other half you're talking about the wedding you just went to. Well, yeah, because so I guess I haven't gone to 15 weddings, but I feel like I've gone, I've gone to maybe five or six weddings this like season. Okay. All right. Well, that's a yeah. That's a that's a few. Or I'll go um, to five or six at least. Yeah. <coughs> so you're getting a, you're getting a big boy suit. That's good. Um, yes. Another suit. Uh, he's, yes. For those of you that have seen Truman in his suit, it's uh, he's got a schoolboy outfit like uh, Angus Young in ACDC. Or, uh, and yeah. it's exactly yeah, uh, it's exactly what it looks like. So Man, half uh, the audience will really enjoy that joke. That'll be really good for them. That'll be really yeah. Good. But the 100 percent of the audience has Google. I gave you an easy name to fucking Google. All you got to do it. You, you probably don't have to go to images to see it. It'll just come up automatically. No, that's fair. That's and they'll, fair. They'll go, why can't Truman be as funny as his old man? Because his old man is funny. Yeah. Oh yeah. Making ACDC jokes and shit. Making ACDC jokes. That's the. Great. We got the cat. We got the cat meowing also. I don't know if you can hear the cat. Cat hopped up here, hopped back down, hopped over to the chair. Now it's just meowing in the chair. So that's really good stuff. Just um, off, it's not real bread. I get it. Cat likes uh, bread. Uh, enjoys ACDC jokes, was hoping for more, I think is what I understand. Um, oh, don't, don't threaten me with a good time. I've got him, buddy. Yeah, I know. Um, I actually, I so I saw this guy because I had to, uh, you had to get, like, you get preliminary fitted where they kind of get a suit in general and then you come back and they actually tailor the suit to you uh for this one we're keeping the suits after this wedding which is nice uh and uh, which is a, which is so much better than bridesmaids dresses like yeah. oh terrific it's purple chiffon uh i'll wear that all the time yeah right well in this place it's <laughs> like 189 or like 200 bucks for this for the suit and hell, that's cheaper than that's cheaper than men's warehouse rental prices. So I was gonna say, is that is or is it okay? Number one, I'm surprised it's not men's warehouse. But number two, uh, is it really that much money to are you you're paying like two hundred dollars to rent a suit? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I'm in a different wedding in November that oh, rents well, men's warehouse, and I I paid over two hundred dollars for that rental. It is, and so when you wear suit, do they have to like? Do everybody wear the same suit like bridesmaids do? Yeah, they're supposed to match, yeah. So everybody just can't wear a fucking... I mean, you certainly you have a blue suit and a black suit. We couldn't pick one of those? Well, now I'm getting this black suit, so now I have a black suit from here on out, but... No. You did not have a black suit previously? Uh, I have one. It fit me at uh, 215 pounds, but not 245. God, you'd look like Jethro going to school wearing that shit. Man, there's another one. I just lost I just lost seventy five percent of the crowd right there. Uh, oh. do you do you know what that reference is from? Never even no. Couldn't even tell okay. where to start. Jethro going to school. Is that Lever um, Beaver? Or it's not. No, it's oh, Beverly Hillbillies. Well, you know, honestly, I I keep those two those shows are kind of in the same place for me. They always have kind of lived on TV land since I've really been able to watch TV. So yeah, that's fair. Are they and they and weirdly they're in, in kind of the same category for me in that they were shows that were on after school, and I didn't see them on the first run. You know, like Leave It to Beaver ran in the early '60s and Hillbilly started in you know '66 or whatever. I did not first run watch those shows. So same with Gilligan's Island. Um. Anyway, first show I remember watching, I remember being excited that the new Batman show was going to premiere. Oh, because they did, West? If you've ever, yeah, if you've ever seen them, they did a cliffhanger at the end of the first one. So oh. they aired, and I want to say they aired like on Monday and Tuesday night. So you had to tune in the next night um, to find out what happened. But anyway. Gotcha. And this uh, is when you just started watching TV, which is like right... So that would have been right about the time they started getting like moving pictures for you, so you just yeah. putting pictures back. Yeah, in. They, uh, all the theaters finally got rid of the pianos, and uh, that they used to just play when the when the words would pop up. Gotcha. Yeah, they so, finally got they finally got the audio on your on your stuff. Uh, gotcha. I remember. I remember when the talkies came to town. It was a, it was <laughs> yeah. a fantastic time. Yeah. We had a parade. Uh, I rode I rode one of those really tall bicycles in the parade. Um, <laughs> Hey, let's talk about the uh, the, 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 the family member that uh, didn't fuck around and actually tried this week. All right. All right. Let's talk about you, Scott. Scott, you waited at 301. 
Uh, last week you weighed in at 303.1, so you lost 2.1 pounds. means that you lost 1.59% of your goal. Brings your overall total at 23.66% of your 31.3 pounds lost. You're just about back under 300, Scott. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna break my arm. Uh, getting back, uh, you know, two two of the of the ten or twelve pounds I put on. So, well, uh, you know, I, I, am, had a I am happy. I am happy. The uh, uh, the the shovel was at least uh, temporarily sat down. No, permanently sat down. Set down the shovel. Uh, well, and then picked it up again and started to fill in the hole. So yeah, we're good. We're good. Absolutely. All uh, all, is, all is good. Um, obviously, more routine. Uh, dog and I have been taking uh, some longer walks along the uh, walking path. It's pretty cool. They're working, working on the bridge right across the street from me. Mm-hmm. And when that's done, we'll be able to like walk right into the park. And so that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, um, yeah life is good. Like like in the new place and uh, everything like that. So yeah, yeah. I think you're doing a better job of getting a better routine than I am. I am at an interesting spot where. Now I'm going to lunches, and not only that, but the know. office also has, like, unlimited sodas. Not unlimited, but they have free sodas that, you know, I don't have to pay for, I, you know, that they're, they're for me to take. And I'm, like, trying to – I do my best to, like, say no, and I don't, you know, I don't think – ha- I think I've had one soda from that fridge all week. But it is okay. tempting. The more you eat out, the free sodas – it's hard for me to get in a rhythm of saying no and saying or getting the salad when you go out and things like that. Yeah. Um, you just got to go. You just got to start going for the meat options, meat and vegetables, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't have to eat a, You don't have to eat a salad, but you know, you get a, get a ch- chicken and some, and some bean, green beans or whatever, uh, and chicken in a salad. Uh, yeah, you know, and, and, you know, or get, get a potato, eat half of it, take the other half home or leave the half there, you know, whatever. Yeah. That uh, is- I'm guessing, I'm guessing you ain't paying for it. So, uh, I mean, it's not like you're, it's not like you're ripping the company. Oh, uh, well, I left half my potato. Oh, fuck you, Truman, you're fired. So, you know, you yeah. know, I think it's still, it's still the same lunch. You're not, you know, you're not getting three entrees and taking two of, I'm going to need a couple of doggy bags. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, I got you. Yeah, it's just, it's interesting to find, I mean, I don't think I've had this access to eating out and having soda like this in a long time. And so. No, you, you spent the last six weeks making grilled cheeses on the, on the side of the road. I'm just put it on the wrap it in foil and put it on the, uh, the tarner for a second. Paper, it's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It'll, it'll be done. So yeah, I'm sure that is a, a weird deal with air conditioning and, and napkins and, and silverware and shit. And I'll, and also uh, sitting at a desk all day. I'm back to sitting at a, sitting behind a desk. I mean, I've been working out. I get up. Uh, I that is a win, you know, for the week. I had a uh, I, I got in with a buddy of mine. He join he's joining me at the gym now. So we get up at five. We get there at five thirty in the morning. Work out. Go to work. And who who goes to the gym at five thirty with you? Anybody I know? Uh, no, I don't think you've actually met this guy. This okay, is, well then, I, then I have then I have, then I have more confidence they'll be able to keep it up. Yeah, this is my because I'm, I'm, <coughs> I'm running through my I'm running through the list of friends of yours that I know, and I'm like, I don't see anybody doing that for more than a week. Not a ton of early uh, risers. Not a ton of early risers. I will say. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So that's good. And I got big news on the fitness front here. Uh, I was noodling around the uh, Aquatic Center website, and I was you know I was bitching and moaning because they do the uh, you know, uh, water aerobics and like at eight in the morning, and that's not really doesn't fit my schedule. So yeah, uh, this fall they're adding a, uh, a little Monday night uh, six thirty class. Oh, pretty happy about that. I might uh, have to catch up on the first twenty minutes of uh, Monday night football or so, but you know I can watch the first half without commercials. So uh, yeah, that's cool. That's that's, that's very cool. I, I even I told mom that. She was pretty excited. I said I haven't even told her yet. I just oh, I found it out it. today oh. and totally spaced it. Uh-uh. That's funny. So uh, anyway, I'm happy. I'm happy I had a good week. Um, and Truman, you and I were talking about the show. Um, we need to start. Uh, we're we're going to try to juice it up a little bit. Maybe start having some guests. We're going to get back, and I'm uh, going to be more vigilant about uh, getting your mother on a schedule to uh, record more Mom's minutes. I know she's got some ideas percolating around in that beautiful noggin of hers. So. 
Um, we're gonna do, we're gonna do that. We're gonna have some people, a couple of people on that you and I would personally that have had uh, some pretty good success on their weight loss journeys, and uh, we're gonna talk about how they did it and how it differs from what we're doing, and which I think is an important part that um, you know we've talked about, if you, especially if you were here for the first uh, few weeks of the show when we were doing different diets. It's all about what works for you, uh, man. If you if you if you love carbs and uh, all that stuff, the, then you know. You find a plan that works for you, they're, right. and they're out. It's just all, um, you know, maybe you want to be a, uh, uh, a carb-heavy vegetarian. I, I think, uh, true to me, uh, there's a lot of evidence that shows a strict vegan diet is the, is the healthiest one out there. Yeah, if you can, you know, but uh, again, the answer with veganism is can you... It, it, it is a some people, great option. Some, some, some people can. Right. <clears throat> some people can do it. You, right. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're, uh, you know your, your sister hasn't had a piece of uh, meat since she was 10. Yeah. You know, you know and, and for a long time, she was a vegetarian. And then she added fish back into her diet. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it, so it's, yeah, it's all about, you know, whatever, you, however it rolls for you. I, and I, my problem is I don't like vegetables. I don't like very many vegetables. Um, See, I've seen vegetable dishes that look absolutely gorgeous and, and beautiful, and the smell about nauseates me. I can't even get close enough to smell, you know, to taste them. So, See, um, that's, and if I and I've said this before, if I had a private chef, if I had the money for a private chef that had every meal ready exactly when I wanted to, right. and had creative and shit like that, I think I could do it. I think I, I think I could enough variety, but when I was doing sure. it for myself, I, I couldn't I couldn't get enough variety going. I, I just you know so. It's, what, it's, what, oh no, I just I, I'm almost on the opposite end. I've realized that I really enjoy uh, everything. I I've uh, I really have I'm not much of a picky eater anymore. If that makes sense, I uh, sure. I never really was a super picky eater. I want to say no, no. Um, you know, everybody had their little uh, picadillos. You d- you didn't like spice. You're yeah. very you're you're very anti spice and spicy. Spicy, but, uh, yes. But I even then, we worked on that. I I think other than your oldest sister, who was an aberration in that department, I think that's a pretty yeah. normal thing for, for kids not to like spice because it's unfamiliar. It's yeah. It's t- taking your mouth on a journey. You're not sure where it's going to go. So. Right, and I'm um, on the flip side of realizing that I really enjoy most vegetables. Uh, really getting into artichokes lately. I really enjoy artichokes. Uh, I had a uh, I what I had been working on, uh, like in college, I had a girlfriend that couldn't believe I didn't eat shrimp. Like I didn't love shrimp, and so I worked on that. I we would go get coconut shrimp, or you find a gateway thing and you work yourself <laughs> in. So now I I enjoy shrimp <laughs> enough. I'd have a uh, I'd have a co- I'd have a cocktail shrimp, <laughs> lightly breaded, yeah. and then I'd have a shrimp uh, gumbo, like shrimp gumbo, seven, shrimp seventy to hundred pound shrimp, shrimp burgers. Well, that's shrimp good. Box, um, shrimp. But and then I worked on <clears throat> mushrooms with uh, Tino is a big mushroom fan. We've worked on mushrooms. I've gotten to a point where I can tolerate those. So right now I'm working on uh, olives. Is what I'm working myself through currently, and I'm actually getting pretty good at it. I'm really actually really starting to enjoy olives enough. So. I and I tell you the secret. I if you want to learn, this is how I do it. Uh, I have to be very hungry, and then I eat these things. So like I was on the side of the road, I was eating those Italian pasta salads that had yeah. uh, those like cold deli salads that could keep yeah, I yeah. could keep in my cooler. Those had a bunch of olives in them. So I was super hungry eating these olives, and you're like so hungry that it's feeding you, it's sustaining you, and you go yeah. Yeah, this is great right now because I'm so hungry. It doesn't matter the taste, and so I've you're, warmed up. So to you're the eating, taste of you're eating those little olive slices. What do you mean? Are you talking about? No, are they like are, this? Oh, full olives. These are the full olives at the in the how Costco many, salads. How many, you, how many olives do you think we're gonna pause the salad? Ten? No, no, they they load them up pretty good at Costco because I assume no. they're cheaper than the other stuff. So I was trying to imagine how many fucking olives you need to feel. Uh, to feel full, like oh, I can't eat another bite. I've had a shit ton of olives. 
So, okay. Well, I would that, say there's I, more olives than there are cherry tomatoes in those pasta salads at Costco. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. You know, that's you know, I make fun, but that's actually pretty cool that you have are uh, consciously expanding your palate. Because I, on the other hand, have remained a five-year-old child on a lot of things uh, through my entire life. Uh, you know, like mushrooms. Um, and I just, you know, and I, I'll try, and I have tried different ones. You were there when I tried, when Ben made the spectacular mushrooms. I was, I was about to bring up the incredible mushrooms. See, that's a great example of you have to find something that features it a little bit and then eat that dish enough where you get used to it and then... Well, yeah, that was just so fucking mush- that was just mushrooms. He, right, he and fried it was them. awesome. I it was not, but I know it looked delicious. I wanted so much to like it. There are not many people on this planet that you go here, eat some mushrooms, and I'm gonna go fuck you. Uh, but uh, I I would do that for him. I'd do it for your mom if she. They said I really did these mushrooms differently. You got to try it. I'm like oh, okay, and that's yeah. uh, that's about it. Uh, yeah, maybe Kyle, if a couple of my friends, you know, they, yeah. that I tr- trust, but so yeah, um, and no, so that's what I'm saying. I just, I'm, I, I make fun, but in a, in a way, I'm definitely jealous that you're consciously expanding your palate. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, uh, and I'm glad it's with relatively healthy stuff. Right. You know, you're yeah, like, not like, well, I was more of a cake guy. I never really liked pie. So I've been eating a lot of pie. Really wanted to try uh, crack. I just. Every everybody says it really helps just increase your metabolism, helps add a little energy. Really is hoping I could just get hooked on crack. So I've been just I started, it. I started only when I'm hungry am I doing the crack though. I did a couple bumps of powder off this little spoon I have. Uh, I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm looking for crack, and then I'm gonna take a small hit of crack. Um, and I will tell anyone who's uh, thinking about it. Uh, here's the deal with crack. For 45 seconds, it's the best drug in the world. It's the most unbelievable feeling you will nope. ever have. And then after 45 nope. seconds, you are consumed with, I really would like to get some more crack right fucking now. All right. Uh, so I would, I, would, I, I would give crack uh, one and a half stars. But do not recommend. For the record. I think as a show, I have to. I, I'll put the blanket. I no stars, zero stars <clears throat> for crack, and no way can we recommend crack. Okay, I just want to make sure we get that out there before anything else happens here. I just I want to make a blanket I think, statement. I, I, gave a, no I, think I, gave a, I think I gave a very realistic uh, assessment of crack, uh, <laughs> I and I said I do not recommend. But to I say zero, it. but to say zero stars would be disingenuous. Because it's unbelievable for 45 seconds. I think it's Sorry. fair as a show if we say zero stars for crack. Yeah, How disingenuous, how ingenuous it is. Oh, it doesn't matter to me. I think we just, I think we leave it at zero stars, I think. I think we, at the very least, we average them together and give it 0.75 stars. <laughs> Isn't that well, what you, you might do as well round up one star for crack. But not from me. I'm a zero. I want it on the record that I'm zero stars on crack. If you enjoy Grub Buds, you're going to love Crack Pals. You're going to love Crack crack Pals. <laughs> it's the Crack Gang. The Crack Gang. All bags. right. All right. Uh, the crack okay. Bags. That's it. <laughs> okay. You know what? On that note, I think we need to get out of here. <laughs> I assume so you can go do some more crack. Uh, <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I feel the knack. I got the knack for crack. <laughs> All right. I think we've gone off the deep. What is this show? All right. Hey, next week we promise more different stuff. We're not going to, we're not going to, we've talked about trying some things on this show, which is bad to bring up. We're not trying crack next week. I promise we're going to try like, uh, like protein shakes or protein bars. We'll talk about heroin and the three ways to do it and which is best for you. No, no, we're not. Uh, but yeah, we might try some new things out. Mom's minutes might be coming back. Might get a couple more fast food minutes. Talked about having a couple guests because we've had. There's a lot of ways to do these things. So we talked. We, we talked about rating, uh, rating some like uh, grocery store products that are uh, quote unquote healthy. Yeah, and rating them on and kind of doing a, a little bastardization of grub buds where you guys do more uh, restaurant type food. This would be 
um, or things that are designed for health in the grocery store. If you got any ideas, drop them in the comment section. Um, if, if you uh, have anything to say, uh, if you didn't care uh, for the crack discussion, let us know. If you did care we'll for the to... crack discussion, uh, don't, I, I guess it. let I us know. But, yeah, I wouldn't be posting on the internet. Be like, yeah, crack discussion don't... to crack. That was exactly my experience. No, don't. If don't... you're going to comment, where can I get some crack? You, we don't know. We're in the wrong you should spot. Go to the, you're in the wrong spot. You're the dark web. Hit the dark web. No idea where to get the crack. But yeah, we do appreciate you guys for being here. We yes. appreciate we appreciate Have you for week. coming back next week, even after all the crack talk. Uh, Cracker Jack shoot. <laughs> yes. Uh we appreciate you for being here. Again, that's what Scott Steen. Uh hey, you go check him out. Twitter at Steen Roller. You can check me out uh, at Steam Machine on Twitter, TikTok. Uh, YouTube, hey, if you're listening on Spotify, you want to watch us, uh, you want to see the full setup with the bread pillow and the, yeah. and the yeah. yellow socks, uh, you can go check out Open Disaster Productions. And if you're on YouTube and you're like, I wish I had to stop looking at these guys, hey, check out Spotify or iTunes, wherever yes. you guys get your podcast. Please do it. A little like, comment, a little subscribe. But hey, either way, we appreciate you guys for being here. Uh, the dreamers, the believers, and even the fat guys. We'll see you guys next week. We're going to have a great week. Uh, getting out of you have home. a great week. It was right there, and you see, we're going to have a great week. You have a great week too. Absolutely. See you guys.